Hello, this is Lori Hargis, registered aromatherapist and flower essence practitioner. Today we're going to talk about our April health forecast. We know April is going to bring us a celestial event, a solar eclipse, and a super moon, which creates a unique energy as the sun and the moon overlap. This energy will open your third eye chakra and create a state of indigo. And what is the state of indigo? It refers to using the purple blue shade of indigo, like this color here, to tap into your creative and visionary side. Indigo color is known to enhance creativity and inspire visionary thinking. So what do we need to do to access our state of indigo, which is right here in the third eye? Firstly, we'll focus on purification and protection using juniper essential oil and mountain penny royal flower essence. Purification is the process of making something clean. Have you ever considered purifying your mind, body, and soul? Most people only think about purifying their internal organs, you know, cleansing their liver or cleansing their intestinal system or their kidneys. They don't think about cleansing the mind, the energy field, and the soul. Many cultures, including the aboriginals, have used purification rituals to make themselves, to, excuse me, to move themselves into a higher state of consciousness. When we purify our minds, the indigo color can shed a light on the dark aspects of ourselves that we may have buried deep within our subconscious. This can lead us to a place of healing where we can rid ourselves of any toxic thoughts or emotions that may be holding us back. So I really want you to now with me examine the signature features of Juniper. And we have this, you'll see pictures of it on our blog so you can check that out because the juniper has this needle-like leaves arranged in whorls of three, okay? And this characteristic demonstrates how the plant defends its berries against unwanted animals and people. It also has female and male cones on separate plants. These cones are considered a fruit which are known as juniper berries. The color of these berries is indigo. Now I'm going to show you when, you know, when you look at a juniper plant, uh, the bush, the shrub, or they can grow higher into like a tree size. The ones that we have in Domain to Cast to You, they're more of a shrub type. And when you look at the juniper uh, shrub, what you see is you'll see the green berry and then you'll see it go into more of a purplish blue, the indigo color, and it gets this waxy kind of look on it. But right here, my husband brought us some um, juniper berries from France because we, we use juniper berries in our food, such as bouffe bourguignon. And, but as the, the, the berries of the juniper, as they get older, they become darker. They become a darker color. So it's more of a blackish purple. However, when they're on the plant fresh, they really are a purplish blue, an indigo color. Now, juniper essential oil is made from the berries. You can get juniper essential oil from just the berries, or you can get it with the branches and the berries, just depending on which one you purchase. 
And what it can do is it can help you with the accumulation of psycho, neurological, and emotional debris. That's what Juniper can help you with. For centuries, absolutely centuries, ancient Romans, Celtic cultures have traditionally used Juniper to purify their bodies, their homes, and sacred sites such as temples. The Aboriginal people and Chinese burned juniper branches in ceremonies for purification and to protect themselves. And in a lot of these cultures, what they did is they laid juniper branches on the ground also to help purify their homes or the sacred sites. Now, Juniper essential oil contains a lot of terpenes, especially alpha pinene and beta pinene. And these are terpenes that have been known. Uh, and in this review, what they did is they looked at um, alpha pinene that was conducted, it was conducted by Weston Green in 2021 to show that terpenes such as alpha pinene have neuroprotective and analgesic, anti-inflammatory, anti-anxiety, and antidepressant properties. The exact mechanisms by which pinene and linenol, linenol is not really in juniper, but it is in lavender, exert their effects not only not yet fully understood. However, there is evidence that these molecules enter the circulation or brain through various routes of administration, such as inhalation and orally, etc. And they alter the neurochemical and neurotropic singling of in the areas of the brain that play a role in anxiety and depression such as the hippocampus, the frontal cortex, and the striatum and the midbrain. So now let's see how to use juniper branch berry essential oil to purify and protect ourselves. One very simple way that I love to do and is where you take juniper essential oil you put and make sure that you always do a patch skin test before you do this make sure that you have no allergies to juniper okay you just take one drop of it i'm going to put one drop in my hand like this if it's going to come out there it goes one drop then i'm going to rub my hands together okay and then I'm gonna bring my hands close to my nose and inhale the sweet and balsamic aroma of juniper. Oh, wow, that is so beautiful. And then you're going to put your hands just about an inch away. You can put them away a foot away if you want, you know, a foot away from your body and start at the top of your toes. So I'm gonna stand up here, move my chair away a little bit so you can see me. And I'm going to, let's see if you can see me here. I'm just moving my chair over completely. And well, not really though, huh? So let's just move my camera back a little bit so you can see me better. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the tip of my toes here and I am going to go over my energy field, coming up over my legs, coming up over the front of my body, over the top of my head, over my shoulders, then down my back, over my buttocks, and then I'm going to go down the back of my legs and then I'm gonna to go to the tip of my toes again. And what this is doing is, this is working on my energy field of clearing it out, of clearing my energy field and helping protect it. That's what Juniper is so great for. 
and do this daily, once a day for 40 days to help you purify your mind and feel the protective shield that Juniper offers your energy field. And this is the reason why many, many people before us, the Chinese, the Aborigines, the Celtics, I mean, they all were doing these kind of things to purify themselves. And we need to remember that it's not just some old tradition they knew that they were cluttering their minds with things. And now we are cluttering our minds with lots of different information, right? We're getting, we're being fed information constantly from social media and, you know, from television and, and all these exterior things of ourselves. And what happens is all that information comes into our energy field. And then it's like, having a parasite, you know, hanging on your energy field out here instead of a parasite in your intestines. It's contamination out here. And then you can't think clearly. You don't make decisions well. And this is why it's important for us to work on our energy field of purifying our mind, our mind system, our energy field, and when we do that, then it helps purify our body, okay? Because all the things out here, then when this becomes congested out here and lots of debris out here, then that starts coming into our physical body and making dis-ease, as we say. So it's important to do this once a day for 40 days, okay? And then after that, after you went over your energy field like I showed you, then just take another short sniff out of your palm of your hand. All right, so now let's talk about our Flower Essence Mountain Penny Royal. And you know, this, it was so interesting when I decided to uh, use Juniper and Mountain Penny Royal. I'm gonna move my chair forward here a little bit. I didn't know some of these things, especially Mountain Penny Royal, how it was used by Native Americans until I started studying and writing this blog for you and doing this video. So I was so happy to learn this information. So it's an excellent choice to include in your purification and protection routine. The white flower of Mountain Penny Royal, and here we have Mountain Penny Royal Flower Essence, represents purity and cleansing. Indigenous tribes rubbed the flower on the weak points of the body. So say, for example, you were weak in your shoulders. You would rub the flower on those areas to strengthen them. They also rubbed it on the third eye. The energy center, remember, right between your eyes here. The indigo area, the area where you have your, that connects to your pituitary gland, your master gland. And they were doing this. They would take the flower of the Mountain Penny Royal and it has a very sweet smell and they would rub it here on their third eye. And this would strengthen this center. Now, it also works as it, it purges and it has the ability to cleanse and expel negative thoughts that you may have picked up from others. Has someone ever said something very derogatory and like it's like you repeat it? You pick it up in your energy field. Or did you ever have a relative or a, a, an adult when you were a child who said things against other kinds of people that were different from you. And you took that into your energy field and you took that as how you felt about those people without ever knowing any of those kind of people, whoever they were. And you, you didn't really choose it, 
because it was, it was put into your energy field as a child. So this is what Mountain Pity Royal can do. It can help you with transgenerational stuff that you have taken on in your energy field from relatives that's been passed down, prejudiced, negative things about other kinds of people or places even, or animals, you know, might say, oh, I don't like this kind of dog. And maybe you really do like that kind of dog, but your family never had that kind of dog. This is just examples of how, when we purify ourselves, we can help ourselves from becoming psychically inf infested because that's what happens. And no one, you know, people don't believe that. Think I can only be infested by, you know, if I get fleas on me from my dog or I can only be contaminated in my, I can only be contaminated by parasites in my intestinal system. But you can have parasitic contamination in your energy field. And this can really play on you especially in the way you're thinking and feeling. So what it does is Mountain Penny Royal revitalizes you. It helps you dissipate and let go of anything that is contaminating your energy field. So it's a real important thing to use, especially at this time when we have the sun and the moon, this super beautiful moon, you know, which is new ideas, new things happening. It's happening on August 8th with this solar eclipse. So this is a time right now from the end of March until that time to let go of that negativity or contamination that you have had in your energy field, in your nervous system, in your emotional bodies. And one way to do that is to take, you can take your Mountain Penny Royal Flower Essence and drop four drops under your tongue, just like that. And I always take Mountain Penny Royal with me when I travel and when I teach classes because it really helps me if there's any kind of negativity that I'm around when I'm traveling through airports or things that are happening, you know, I let go of it. And it's the same when I'm teaching, I'm not taking on any kind of negativity. And it really is helpful for me to be very clear. And that way I'm not bringing anything negative to the students. So, now let's also look at another thing that we can do and which I think you should really try. And this is a roller ball blend. And here I have already in this roller ball, I have already put in 12 drops of juniper essential oil and four drops of mountain penny royal flower essence. And the carrier oil I use in here is apricot. You can use anything that you want. And then what you do is you just apply it, just a little bit, apply it to your third eye area here in between your eyes, where that pituitary gland is. And then you can take a short sniff of the blend itself and let's take three deep breaths together in through the nose and out through the mouth here we go
And now clear away all those negative things that have been coming into your mind today. And just let them go. And in fact, when you think of one, just take a deep breath in and blow it out. And just let it go, just release them. And then what you can do is take another short sniff of your formulation of the Juniper and the Mountain Pride, Mountain Penny Royal. <laughs> oh, it's so nice, Juniper oil, so beautiful. And then visualize your energy field being pure and protected. Now, I really want you to use this significant energy between now and April 8th during the solar eclipse and the super moon and after, because once you have something like this, this energy, it builds, it builds, and it builds into the solar eclipse and the new, the super moon that we're gonna have on April 8th, what then happens is that energy still continues and flows. So it's really important that you focus in on a positive new thing in your life, or maybe it's something that you're already working on but you want to let go of the negativity and the contamination and the debris that you've had out here in your energy field. And you want to bring in the positive through using your juniper, your mountain penny royal, either separately or in a combination roll on like I have suggested. And this is going to purify and protect you as you move forward into your soul self of creativity and intuition. Because this third eye here, this indigo state, is where you visualize. It's where you envision your future. It helps you when the pituitary gland is functioning properly your whole endocrine system is functioning properly. Your nervous system works better. Your kidneys work better on a physical level. So by you smelling the juniper, opening up your third eye center, also using mountain penny royal energetically on you, you are opening yourself up to a wonderful and beautiful month of April. You're gonna have a great month with these energies from the sun and the moon enhancing it. So I just also wanna tell you something that's really very, very important too is you know, people in herbalism, they know about Mount, Mountain Penny Royal, but I want to let you know that this is not the same plant as the herbal Penny Royal Mentha Pulligum, which, which has concerns regarding its abortive properties. Therefore, you can be assured that there are no risks associated with using the Mountain Penny Royal flower essence. Even if there were toxic substances in the plant, which is not the case, there would be rendered harmless due to the high dilution level of a flower essence. Mountain Penny Royal flower essence is safe to use. And this information has been provided by the Flower Essence Society. So, I want you guys to discover the power of flower essences combined with acupressure. So mark your calendars for Tuesday, that's next Tuesday, April 2nd at 1 p.m. to join us for an information session on how to balance your liver meridian 
with this unique combination. Don't miss out on this opportunity to learn more and it's going to be hands-on. We are going to be showing you how to use flower essences for balancing the liver and for liver health with acupressure and we're going to be showing it on video just like I'm showing you right now. So I'm looking forward to you feeling revitalized using the energies of the solar eclipse and the super moon with ju juniper essential oil and mountain penny royal flower essence purifying and protective energies for a third eye indigo opening to your creativity and inspiring your visions don't forget your essentials use your common sense au revoir